What's going on guys, TTL here. Today we're going to be going over my top three NBA props for today, February 28th, 2024. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button. And um, I'm going to be trying to do uploads every single day going forward, kind of like I did. I did have a three month streak of every single day uploading. Been slacking a little bit, especially with All-Star break. It's time to get back at it though every single day. Um, really quick before we get started though guys I do have to shout out if you guys are interested in signing up to VIP It's only $20 a month you get access to slips my exact slips for every single app imaginable um, Prize picks thunder pick underdog sleeper chalkboard better um, That's it. There might be one more um, that I'm forgetting but all those apps you get uh, access to um, thunder pick if you don't know is a sports book so you do get sports book bets as well, money lines, spreads, game totals, that kind of thing. Uh, definitely recommend it though. And if, if you guys aren't signed up to Prize Picks, Underdog, Sleep, or any of those websites I just mentioned, get signed up now. And I'll go ahead and show you on the Discord. Um, this was a $500 giveaway that I just got done giving away. Um, definitely recommend we do do only VI, uh, do VIP only giveaways, maybe two or three times a month. Definitely recommend it. We also do uh, watch parties as well. But you can see I have all these app sections right here getting started to help you guys. I'm always in VIP chat helping people out. Um, there's a community slips section where people can share their own plays. But guys, if you go to the sign up bonuses, you can see all my partners. You sign up to any of these using the links and code TTL or TTL DFS if you're on better. Um, you do get a free week of VIP for each one of those. So you can get up to that's four or five, six, seven. That's seven apps, seven weeks of free VIP, almost two months full of free VIP. If you sign up using my link, you get a 100% deposit match. You click on support ticket, create ticket. You open up a support ticket. You can see my moderators are already dealing with quite a few right here, but we'll get to your ticket within 24 hours, most of the time and get you added to that, uh, VIP section. Highly recommend it. And let's get into the actual plays for today. So um, we're going to be using DGF and Outlier for research. And let's take a look. So DGF compares the uh, compares odds to every sports book to the plays that you're playing on, whether it's prize picks, underdog, parlay play, um, sleeper, for example. Um, and it just shows you the positive EV plays on each one. Highly recommend it. Use code LIMIT for 25% off your first month. And then Outlier just shows you the stats for each play. So we can click this random play, head-to-head -head matchup. We can see at-home games only. It shows us the spread, the defense for the opposing team. Just a great website. You can use my link for a free week. But let's get into the actual picks. I will say, guys, I had to, I was torn between two things today. My last video, I had two first half plays and a lot of people were complaining that they can't play first half plays. Whether that means you're on a sports book, whether that means you're on underdog, um, sleeper, chalkboard, whatever, you can't play first half plays. And I wanna make sure that I am appealing to the masses, to most of the people. So today's three picks are going to be on sleeper. Again, guys, you can use code TTL on sleeper Get a 100% match up to $500 and a free week of VIP. But this is a three pick that I put in today. And now guys, obviously I don't really track win rate. Like, you know, I don't really track. Um, I just do my research, give out plays that I think are going to hit. A lot of times we do hit stuff like that. I do track win rate in VIP, but for free picks, I keep track when we're on streaks, that kind of thing. But I don't really brag like I've hit 80 of my past 100 props. And people that do that are a little bit scummy because they'll use props like these that are like 1.32x, 1.33x. Um, hopefully, we'll add at least two or three of the two out of three of these. Hopefully, all three, so that I hit this three uh, three pick slip. And if you decide to tell this exact slip, you'll hit it as well. But I'm um, just wanted to make that clear. Like I'm not going to be the type of person that's like we went three and zero yesterday when we're talking about 1.3x, 1.3x, 1.6x. They're not props that are like 50 50 or anything like that they're not props that you're going to get a good multiplier off of but let's take a look guys first off we have vucevic we have vucevic over 0.5 three points made this is a 1.32x over on sleeper let's take a look at outlier vucevic over 0.5 three pointers we can see this is minus 240 minus 250 
Underdog has it at minus 356, which is just absurd, by the way. Um, over his last 10, he's hit a three-pointer in nine out of 10 of those. In 2023, he has hit a three-pointer in 72% of his games, 38 of 53. And at home, he has hit this in 17 of 26 games, 65%. Now, we can also say Le uh, Levine is out still. Without Levine, he has hit this in 23 of 28 games, and at home, 10 of 13. So 82% total, 77% at home. Um, Cleveland is a great defense, don't get me wrong. Uh, the Cavs have one of the best. Um, the Magic probably have the best, honestly. But the Cavs are way up there for a really good defense this year. They're eighth in three points made allowed. Um, and versus centers, they're 21st. Though. So that, that's what we like looking at. We like looking at the position positional defense not just overall obviously you consider both of those but centers they're 21st in the league for three points allowed to centers so i really like this he shoots up five attempts per game he's exceeded this in 10 of his last 11 games so he's only missed one out of his last 11 games um definitely think he's going to get one today the odds are definitely in our favor for that one so let's lock it in Next up, we have another one that's 1.33x, a little bit less odds than the Vucevic one, and it's Scotty Barnes under one and a half three points made. And I actually saw somebody on the over on this, which is interesting. Um, saw somebody take his over double double as well, which is also interesting. Um, obviously, that has nothing to do with his three pointers because he is projected for almost 20 20 ish points um and he is projected for like seven or eight assists and rebounds so he could definitely hit a double double but i definitely wouldn't take the over one and a half three pointers um, we're on the under 1.33x it's minus 238 minus 356 on underdog minus 244 on caesars depending on where you take it around minus 250 to minus 350. um over his last 10 he's cast this in eight out of his last 10 and in 2023, he's cast this in 53% of games, 31 of 58. Um, no one is really out yet. There are a few game time decisions, um, but these players wouldn't really have an effect on him either way. Um, we can say, we can make sure that certain people were in for these games, like RJ Barrett, uh, Gary Trent. Um, that's pretty much the big two that would uh, take up some of his time. And we can say with them in, he's hit this and he went under in 67% of games this year, 14 of 21. And at home, he's hit in 82%, nine of 11 games this year, he stayed under 1.5, three, point, uh, three points made with Barrett and Trent Jr. in the game. Um, we can also see Dallas three points defense, 15th in the league, middle of the pack for three points allowed versus his position. They are fourth. They allow the fourth least amount of three points per game to his position. So I'm definitely loving this. We can also see he has failed to exceed this in eight straight games. So we can take a look. That's three, six, that's seven with both of these players playing eight. If you uh, don't make sure they're playing. So I'm really loving this today. Let's lock it in with confidence. And then our third and final play is the most risky play, but it's on the Cavs. We're taking Struss over six and a half rebounds and assists. So let's take a look at this one. Max Struss over six and a half rebounds and assists. We can see it's minus 148, minus 150, um, around that odds. Over his last 10, he's cashed this in nine out of his last 10. In 2023, he's cashed this in 75% of games, 43 of 57, and in away games, 22 of 27, 81%, with three of the five misses being by 0.5 as well. So I'm really loving this today. We can see the Bulls rebounds into the assist defense, middle of the pack for rebounds, 23rd in the league for assists versus his position. The rebounds does get worse. They are eighth in the league for the least amount of rebounds, or ninth, I apologize. But for assist, it does get uh, does get better for us. 23rd to 28th in the league for assist allowed. And um, we can see on average, he's getting anywhere between, honestly, his rebounds are kind of fluctuant. Um, you can see between one and like six rebounds, even 10. Um, I would say on average four or five rebounds. We can see right here his average is five rebounds. I would say we're looking to see four rebounds today, maybe five. And then I have him projected for at least three, four assists. Um, we can see his assist potential is up there as well. He had seven this game. 
seven that one six four 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 two six five three so again that fluctuates quite a quite a bit as well but with how many uh, assists the bulls allow i do expect him to get four or five today so i'm loving that prop as well to finish us off on the sleeper slip i put two units on this a hundred dollars is one unit to me if you guys are interested in bankroll management join the free discord in the pinned comment i could help you guys I do live streams. Um, I can help you guys with individual questions about regarding bankroll, that sort of thing. But $100 is one unit for me, which is 1% of my bankroll. I did two units on this, so $200 to win $5, uh, $558, which is a uh, 3.5 3 unit profit. So let's lock it in, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And let me know guys would you guys prefer if i'm like on heavy just first half props on prize picks would you prefer i go over those first half props or would you rather me do what i did today and give like sleeper chalkboard or underdog slips if i have underdog things like that please let me know in the comments down below guys i want to know what um you guys want from me you know so let's make some money guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video